Hello, dear listeners, and let me start with this disclaimer. I would like to say that these slides contain a survey of the existing reliability methodologies, standards, and tools. This slide contains links to all sources of the used textual and graphical information. This presentation has absolutely no intention to promote any reliability software developer, reseller, or standardization body. All the logos of the software vendors and standardization organization belong to these companies and are not used in commercial purposes. And finally, these slides will be available on my blog where you can download them. Okay, and welcome to the presentation on reliability, methodologies, standards, and tools. If one will try to Google the word reliability, he will obtain this heap of terms, different acronyms and even names. But you know that simplicity is prerequisite for reliability. Therefore, the main intention, the main purpose of this presentation is to give a simplicity and structure. Today I would like to start with the key definitions defining what is reliability. Uh, talk a little bit about the theory behind, about the industries that require reliability projects and about standard sense of software producers. After that I will move on with the main part where I will go through a number of the most widely used reliability methodologies like fault trees, root cause analysis, market chains and so on. And for each methodology I will mention the standards that support this methodology and the number of tools that can be used in order to apply this or that methodology. And in the very end of this presentation I have a part called software reliability. And in this part I will go from the general level to the more specific level, uh, to the software reliability, I mean. And there I will also discuss the software reliability methodologies, software reliability standards and tools. Okay. Let me start with definitions, and I will use this uh, so-called dependability tree. What does it show? It shows that the dependable system has a number of attributes, and reliability is among them. Uh, the other attributes are availability, safety, and so on. If we'll take a look into the industrial standards like IEEE standard, IEC, ISO standard, we will have well, we can find a number of different definitions and however they are pretty similar and the main idea that reliability is the ability of the system to perform a required function under stated conditions for a stated period of time. Uh, usually reliability is reported in terms of probability so in other words reliability can be defined as the probability that it will, it will be no failure or no system failure during this stated period of time under the stated conditions. And another very important term, and this term is closely connected to reliability, is safety. Safety is defined as the absence of catastrophic consequences on the user and the environment. And here we can see if reliability is the probability that nothing bad will happen. One minus reliability shows up the probability that something bad can happen. And if we multiply this probability with hazard level of this something, we will obtain unsafety. And that's how these two definitions, these two properties are connected. There are a number of industrial domains that require reliable and safety systems. Among them, aviation, automotive, telecommunication, space, railway, information technology, energy, and military forces. All these industrial domains are interested in new reliability methodologies, in improvement of the old reliability methodologies, and so on. They are actually consumers of the old reliability research projects and new methodologies and standards, and so on. And uh, in this slide you can see the timeline. And in the timeline you can find a number of milestones. And these milestones uh, define the point in time where the inventions in the reliability theory have been made. All has been started a long time ago when Laplace proposed Bayesian probability and Markov 
uh, developed Markov chains. Uh, you know that all the reliability, reliability theory is based on the theory of probability. Therefore, these two things are used all over in the reliability domain. And after that, the middle of the previous century was a golden era of reliability. And during this period of time, all the majority of the existing of the most, most uh, widely used reliability methodologies have been established, like failure modes and effect nights, reliability block diagrams, fault tree analysis, and so on. Nowadays, we also have a dynamics in the reliability. And there, in the theory of reliability, we have new methodologies and so on. But usually, these new inventions are just extensions of the old one or combinations of some of them. So, and uh, speaking about the standards and reliability standards in particular, uh, I would like to say that all standards organizations, the guys who, who, who is developing and setting the standards, can be divided into three levels, international level, regional, national. In international level, the most well-known is World Standard Cooperation that consists of International Organization for Standardization, International Electrotechnical Commission, and International Telecommunication Union. All of, them have, all of them have been established long time ago and based in Switzerland. However, speaking about the reliability standards, uh, I would say that the most of the reliability standards are developed by International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC. However, there are also the other players like Society of Automotive Engineers and IEEE in Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. In the regional and national level, we also have, uh, or they also have their own uh, standardization bodies like German Institute for Standardization, British Standards Institution, and so on. However, the common practice is that these organizations, they just uh, take the international standards and apply them in the national level, adopt them somehow, translate, and so on. And one more time, if one will try to Google the word reliability, he will for sure get a lot of links to the websites of these guys. And they, they are producers of software tools for reliability analysis. It is a very big international market. And you can see here uh, the main players on this market. Among them Relix, Reliasoft, uh, Isograph, Ito, and so on. All these companies are international. What I'm seeing in brackets is the location of their headquarters. However, they have departments all over the world and they produce the software that uh, for different reliability methodologies uh, and guidelines and so on.